Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution, where we are currently admiring the Team Leaf Chompers enclosure, and it seems to be, uh, seems to be looking pretty good, actually. Alina is doing quite well over here, Samantha is hanging out, we have quite the crowd that seems to be coming by, uh, maybe to cheer on Team Leaf Chompers, maybe to cheer on Team Fangs, uh, oh my gosh, yeah, it looks like everybody's coming to cheer on Team Fangs. Or maybe in a little bit of twist of positive economic fate to cheer on the goat feeding station cafe where you can come and dine with goats. I mean, they're going to eat. We could oh, think about it, guys. We could serve a whole bunch of the food on top of compostable plates and platters that would be healthy for the goats to eat. And if they wanted to chomp on like literally your meals with you, they could. But I'm actually really surprised at how much money this place is pulling in. It's pulling in so much profit. Look at that. 15,000. 15,000 to the goat feeding station. Like, do we do we need more people? Are we maxed out? Okay, good. We're not maxed out on the number of people here. We have two staff, but that is pulling in a ton of the money that we are now going to turn around and start using to spruce our park up even more, especially when it comes to those darn fossil expeditions. Do I have people out right now? Oh, let's go ahead and just extract this DNA because we've got we've got significant amounts of money on this third island right now and we do not have our dig teams out. Well, that won't do. We still don't have the T-Rex fossils after all. And I know that you guys are very excited about T-Rex. I kind of feel like T-Rex would be a very difficult dinosaur to keep on our island, but I'm hoping it would go well. And we're very close to getting three stars. And as soon as we get three stars on this island, we're out of here. We're going to be headed over to the fourth island so that we can unlock some more dig sites around the world. Perform two successful ex expeditions to a dig site. Already on it. Already on it, doctor. I think you're going to be very happy with me. But yes, so I really... Oh, I won't, Claire. I won't let the opportunity pass me by. <laughs> But I really want to hurry and I want to unlock some more of the dig sites around the world because we've pretty much maxed out all of the current dinosaurs that we have access to and that just that just won't do. There's so many more that we could unlock. We've hardly started expanding up the database. You guys know that by now. I'm just really eager to see more variety, more of what we could do. <gasps> Taiga Cosmetics jeans! Oh my gosh, I want to make some Taiga Cosmetic dinosaurs what kind though what should we hatch what do i want to create <gasps> what about some new roosters can i modify the genome so that the roosters can have the taiga genetics let me see is that gonna let me do it savannah and arid so unfortunately our rooster team who we haven't really seen for quite a while could not pop out of there as a taiga but what about maybe a draco rex uh, I don't know. The, the the Chunky Kings have caused me a lot of problems in the past. I could get another Dionysus, uh, another Dino if I had Taiga. Oh, you can make a Taiga. Ooh, it doesn't really change the rating at all. These ones, I really like these guys. I would like to see what they could look like. But at the same time, I'm not sure how Kaya would react and Olivia and Marcia and James already have quite a bit to deal with with Kaya. Could she handle more population in here? She could handle more population. But oh, and look at them. Look at them follow Kaya around. I actually really like mixing two groups that aren't quite 100% comfortable with each other because it seems to be keeping them on their toes. It seems to really be like look at her. Look at Kaya sniffing trying to figure out what she sees. Uh-oh, Kaya, wait! Wait, you weren't supposed to actually... <laughs> Kaya, hang on! You weren't actually hunting, are you? I don't know, maybe if we... Oh, what's going on? <gasps> what's happening? Oh my gosh, what? <laughs> okay, hang on a second. We get, we get a reward? What? Wait, is that a new dinosaur? Release and house a Velociraptor and a Diplodocus. The mission will fail if either dinosaur dies or if your park experiences too many guest fatalities. What? Relincu incubate and release with 80% genome, Diplodocus, and Velociraptor. Keep them alive in secure enclosures. 
I don't think I have to keep them in the same enclosure, do I? Velociraptors are such a pain in the rump, though. Oh my goodness. But we get two millions and I, two millions. What? Come on, Siri. You know how to to money. Well, I don't know really how to math, but <laughs> two a million dollars. There we go. And a Nodosaurus. So let's start that mission because that sounds really cool. But I need eighty percent genome on those guys. So let me go and check the genome. So does that mean? Whoops, that's the live bait feeder. That is where our goat boat is. Oh, and we need to restock something really quickly. Who needs restocked? Over here? Okay, we're on it. But does that mean, so Diplodocus at 80%. Uh, oh, okay, well, I wish I could say, I wish I could say like this, but don't. Dr. Wu, it's not an optimal way. He's He is intentionally putting the animals under stress. That's not my way either. I really don't want to do that. I'm not sure what you think you're doing or why, but you're creating a security risk with those- Don't you dare talk about security risk, George. Ah, uh, Huh. Science is not about staying in the box. For us, there is no box. Or are we inside of the box? Are we the cat in the box? Or is there a cat in the box, eh? Eh? Alright, we have two can play at the metaphorical game, Dr. Wu. Two can play at it indeed. Oh my gosh. And now everybody is just kind of babbling at each other. So they can they can go and, and chit chat about that if they want. And now they're talking about who could be flirting with each other. Who knows? All right. So Diplodocus, I need 80% genome on this one. And Velociraptor, I already have 80% genome on. So I'm going to need... Science requires not only experimentation, but observation. Huh. And she liked the the fossils that I brought in. So I unintentionally... Jeez. And then they threw more money at me. I unintentionally uh, fulfilled the, let's see, interesting confinement studies. And she has, she has a dinosaur to offer me. Oh, and then also thank you to Rachel Lee, who, and many of you others who let me know that the security team is not actually protecting a sauropod and doesn't actually have sauropod DNA to offer me, which is such a pity because I was hoping that was like a really cool sauropod and I'd be able to play with it, but that is not the case, unfortunately. Uh, and it does look like we need to send our dig team out to dig up some more Diplodocus fossils. And check that out, we have some T-Rex fossils. The T-Rex, as soon as we get the T-Rex unlocked, that should definitely get some attention from the guest and get us up to three stars for sure. But it looks like I need to focus on Diplodocus DNA. Let's see, Diplodocus, Diplodocus, Diplodocus. Might have some there. Brachiosaurus, might have some there. So we'll start collecting up some of the fossils from those two dig sites. And other than that, I might want to start building another area over here. No way! We can have T-Rex now? Oh my gosh, that needs to have like a Team Fang section of honor right over here. Oh my goodness. What's the strongest fence I possibly have? Just the heavy steel fence? I don't know about that, guys. I really don't know about that. But maybe we could have like the T-Rex enclosure over here so that people could have like a viewing platform right next to the hotel. I mean, we're gonna have to add in the T-Rex at some point, so I might as well go ahead. I'm gonna build it like this. I'm gonna do a double fence line again, because that seems to really protect everyone. I don't know if T-Rex is going to be like the most popular dinosaur, but let's try it out. Let's get it in here. Maybe that for sure it should help me with being able to get up to three stars, but hopefully I can just keep my guests safe. I'm a little worried about that. All right, we'll put the viewing platform right here. So you can literally stay. This is going to be Hotel uh, Fangs. So if you want to be on Team Fang, you can come over and stay at Hotel Fangs. You have to sign about 18 million different release forms in case of your death, which we're not saying it could happen, but it could happen uh, so that I don't get in trouble to stay at Hotel Fangs. And we might put in another hotel in just a second because I have so much money all of a sudden. Oh, look at my little islands. Can I put little swan boats? <laughs> like, or like... What's the equivalent? What's the Jurassic equivalent to a swan? But we need to put like little boats out here so that they can just boat around. This is so pretty. I really feel like all, whoops. I really feel like all of this 
is sort of underutilized. All of those beautiful waterfalls, all of the area around us. Uh, we've got some new fossils I need to tend to. And I need to take care of the power. So let's slip right over here. Yeah. And then around the back. And there. All right. To the fossils. We have a teeny bit. A teeny, teeny bit of Diplodocus. Oh, yeah. That's a high quality one. All right. That should help. But let's go try to gather up a little bit more just in case. Because I want to be at 80% uh, DNA with that. And then let's get back over here. So let's put in gate one. I really think having a double fence line is better than nothing. So can I come over here? Well, not really. What about over here? We'll have gate number two right there. And then I'm going to have fence number two. No, don't do that. Ah, There. I'm going to have fence number two running parallel. So that if the T-Rex breaks out, hopefully, or like tries to break down the fence, because I don't know like if they need to be super cranky. I don't know if storms are going to freak them out. That'd be kind of nice if you could at least like look up the temperament of the dinosaurs before you put them in or like after you get it. I would really appreciate if we had some way of being able to more confidently know the temperament. Okay, so it could still escape out the back. But I feel like at least the area up along the guest uh, is double secured. So maybe that'll work. Maybe it won't. We'll just have to see. Maybe it's just a big waste. Darn. And I don't think the gate thing is going to work at all. However, sometimes the gates... Here, we'll do this. And then do this. There we go. So we're just going to put the gates up front. And I'm going to go ahead and remove this one. Uh, yes, I would like to demolish this gate. Demolish these. The trees just pop right back into place. There's that. And then let's go into the enclosure. Add in a carnivore spot. We're probably going to need a little bit. There we go. A little bit of water. And then we'll come back over. Maybe I could actually put the water up along the back. Uh, to somewhat try to prevent the T-Rex from breaking out the back. But that doesn't quite work. But still, I can dream. And then let's come over, guys, and let's do it. I just want to go ahead and incubate the T-Rex, because why not? All right, let's see. Where, oh, where are you, buddy? There you go. Can I modify you at all? I don't have enough. We can do alpine pattern. And we can do immune response to increase... How high? That dramatically increases the rating and the lifespan. So we're going to just go ahead and risk it. Two million dollars?! Fine! I better, I better not regret this. <laughs> success is, uh, like, the success ratios have been added on to that, but I really hope I don't regret that. <gasps> oh, that's so cool! I've never seen the dinosaur eggs as a little fossil you can drag back. All right. Diplodocus is still not at 80%, so we still need to work on that. So that means sending them back out to go and gather more Diplodocus DNA. I want to make sure I don't over harvest from one fossil dig site. Like right now the site is depleted for the uh, Dinosaur National Monument. There's that one and this one. So we'll just have to keep going to those two fossil dig sites. And hopefully the T-Rex will incubate all right. Fingers crossed. Um, I should probably start setting up an area that we can actually release that we can actually go ahead and release the Velociraptors into. It sounds like they want me to put in Velociraptors and Diplodocus together, maybe? Or not? It's really hard to tell, but I need to wait till my Diplodocus is at 80% for its research DNA. And I would like to add in some more dinosaurs. Maybe another Draco Rex? Can I see... Oh, can I have, can I have the uh, Taiga pattern? Was it Taiga that we just unlocked? I think so. Was it Taiga that we just unlocked? I think so. So let's try another Draco Rex. There we go. All right, guys, we have a T-Rex incubating. Oh, that's so cool. And what else can I do over here for my guest for the moment? 
So they're okay on their satisfaction. Their fun is still pretty low. Transport rating is very low. We're starting to get enough money that I could start building some monorails, but I'm a little bit worried about the fact that we might actually have uh, one of our, our T-Rex DNAs fall through and then I need to spend another $2 million making a new one. And I think we need to add a bit more variety to our dinosaurs. Uh, transportation is super low, fun is super low. Maybe, maybe another food and drink stand? Hmm, use the expedition center. Oh, on it. I'm actually, she really wants me to get some Diplodocus too. We know what team she's on. Team Leaf, Team Leaf. I'm working on it, Claire. I'm working on it. Uh, not letting opportunities pass me by, that is. Let's make another Team Leaf section right over here with some heavy steel fences. And we'll put in some of our herbivores over here. Oh wait, I probably, mm, there we go. Yeah, we'll put in some of our herbivores on this side over here. Like the uh, Ankylosaurus prefers to be in a slightly smaller exhibit with less creatures. So we'll start sticking them along here. All right, here we go. But it might be nice. And then imagine over here, we could put in the Gyrospear in the future, which would be really cool. So there's this group. And let's come back over to the fossils. There we go. Yes! Now we're really starting to work on that Diplodocus DNA. Wonderful. And my bottom line is looking really good. Good, good, good. That's also fantastic. Let's put in, oh, I trapped a goat in there by accident. Forgive me, security goat. It was completely unintentional, I assure you. I was not trying to, I guess he's the goat exhibit now. <laughs> I didn't mean to actually put him in there, but that's kind of hilarious. Uh, all right, we're gonna put in a viewing gallery. Excuse you. No, this is exactly where the viewing gallery was going to go. Don't you dare tell me it's, mm, mm, mm. Okay, I have to, unfortunately, you're free, goat. Run for it while you still can. I actually have to demolish that gate too, which really is not a happy moment for me. Can I put in the viewing platform first? It's very frustrating how difficult it is to actually get items to line up in Jurassic World Evolution and get them to line up nicely so that you can make nice looking exhibits. All right, there's that. Let's put down the fence. It'll be a little easier once it's actually built there. So there's that one. There we go. Guests will be able to shimmy right over here from the goat feeding station. Hopefully we can have a nice bit of water. There we go. Some trees over here. Look at all the people walking by. I definitely need to try to install a tram of some kind soon. All right, nice little spot. Good, good, good. Do I have... Power? Let's put in the large substation somewhere over here. Why not? I can get rid of like so many other little ones. If I come over here, let's do it. I can actually come back in and I can like remove multiple small substations once this large one is done. And it'll, it will cover this viewing gallery. Come on, large substation. There we go. Cause look at this, see, it reaches a very far area. And then I think I have like a substation over here. I guess there's no point in getting rid of it right now, but it's just nice to know that now I have larger substations to work with. Uh, all right, so I do wanna tranquilize our Ankylosaurus and move it over. Cause Samantha prefers a slightly less crowded area. So I think it would be nice to just give her that and give her a new exhibit. So let's go ahead and tranquilize. There you go, Samantha, and we'll scoot her over. Let's grab my ranger team. Come and refill this. Let's pop over a new team leaf area has been created. Let's smack down a few of these leaves. There's that side. And over here. Whoa, 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 careful there, rangers. Oh my goodness. And then they can pop over and we'll move Samantha over to this side in just a second. So hang in there, Samantha. How are the others going? Oh, the Drago Rex is ready for lace and the T-Rex is almost ready. Oh my gosh. It looks like it's actually going to make it. All right. Samantha is tranquilized. 
So let's go ahead and we're actually going to transport her to this side so that she can have a little bit more privacy, which I think she'll really enjoy. Whew. All right, speaking of transporting things and speaking of privacy, guys, here it comes. Are you ready? It's time to release the T-Rex. Oh my gosh. Let's do this. <laughs> Hello, my wonderful star earner. You really are the true star of the show. The OG, as the kids say these days. There we go. Now I should see some stars. Now I should see a new island. Now, hopefully, the Tyrant Lizard. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Favorite of early fiction. Get over here and tranquilize it like now. Whoo! It represents everything we fear. Hey, 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 hey. No breaking out of there. Oh, geez. I need to upgrade that fence like immediately. Let's replace the fencing. Can't believe I have this puny fencing over here. Look at it! Oh my gosh! Are you going down? Not too much of a... It's panicking right now, but it should calm down in just a second. Now that we are... There. Now that we are here. So, alright! Now I actually have to pull up a... Uh, uh, now I have to pull up a cool name and actually this is going to be a really cool t-rex. Let me go You look dead. Hang in there, buddy. You, it's only gonna be for a second. It's only gonna be for a second All right, let's go ahead and transport him Why do I not have an auto three stars for this? What is wrong with these people? All right, and we're gonna move our new t-rex. I have a fantastic very cool name for our new T-Rex as well. I would like to introduce all of you to Tiger Cloud or Tiger. So his name is going to be Tiger after one of you guys from the comments that you guys have left in previous videos. I roll that random generator to pull up random comments and this time Tiger Cloud actually left a comment and I would like to thank you. Uh, that's really cool that you were on an island tour and that you saw a rooster and I'm really touched that you actually thought about our our series. <laughs> so Tiger Cloud says that they were actually on a tour and uh, saw a rooster on an island and thought about our roosters from our wonderful adventures that we have had so far. Also check out the goat. Maybe people are like walking by. Look they're like oh my gosh a t-rex just went by. Oh but there's one of the goats. Who's on team goat? Look everybody's pointing. I would point too. I mean look at this. There's literally, going past Hotel Fangs, a T-Rex just flying through the air. What is wrong with you people? Give me your stars! Oh my gosh, I can't believe that they aren't just like falling over themselves to gift me stars at this point. I am offended. <laughs> Alright, well while we let Tiger land and get settled in, let's actually put in a new toy shop to celebrate Tiger's addition to our family right there oh my gosh i apparently have designed the toy shop to just simply roll the children straight into the door look at that you start walking down this path and somehow it's certainly not the slopes i strategically made you immediately roll through the front door whoops what's going on yes we've unlocked the new island finally New places to dig. It's a narrow island. Carefully plan your facility around the tight space constraints. Uh, if an island could have an attitude, then this little chunk of volcanic rock takes the cake. Reinforced enclosures use concrete fences to ensure containment of giant predators at this facility and expensive power generation. Prepare for the increased cost of generating power on this remote island. Ha! Huh, we will go over there in just a second. Tiger, you beautiful creature, you. Is this going to be enough to keep you happy? Not remotely. More grassland. All right, let's get more grass. Chop down these trees. Choppy, choppy. There we go. Chop, 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 chop. All right, out you go, out you go, out you go. Shoe birds. Uh, you like you probably don't want to be here, birds. Trust me. All right. Happy grasslands predator. Look, we even have a rainbow. We even have a rainbow for tiger. Oh, that's hilarious. And Tiger wants to be alone. Thank you very much. 
So is that good? There we go. Comfort is starting to go up. We have a very, very, very low threshold for happiness and comfort for Tiger. Gonna have to remember that. But I think people are gonna start flocking over here from Hotel Fangs and popping over and they can they can come to uh, the, the Tiger. Look at all that rain. It's just gonna flood my new toy shop. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, let's see, let's go with, I guess, T-Rex Tiger tiger toys there and no not stickers are you kidding me we're gonna sell entire animatronic tiger like an animatronic dinosaurs that parents will pay through the nose for fifty dollars yes forty nine dollars and are we maxed out we are maxed out on people so there we go Whew. All right, that toy shop should start bringing in quite a bit of money. We touched three stars for just a second, just long enough to unlock that island, which means, my friends, that we have finally unlocked some of the brand new... Look at Tiger. Oh, that's so cool. You're so cool. Look at you. We have unlocked some of the new dig sites. Maybe from here, maybe if I go to the next island, let's check it out. Have we unlocked new dig sites? I think when we go to the next island, formally, then we will unlock new dig sites. <sighs> and then we'll really be able to start telling a story. And for just a second, I thought we lost our T-Rex. You don't, look at, look at that. <laughs> just the legs sticking out. <laughs> don't lose your T-Rex, guys. Don't lose your T-Rex. That's, that's enough to give anybody a heart attack, to say the least. But all right. So, we still have a huge mission to carry on here. If I want to unlock whatever mysterious dinosaur they are holding back from me, and we do have the third island to visit and start unlocking and we're turning over tons of funds and we'll hopefully have even more money soon on this island. So I have a feeling we'll be back soon and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.